Hey everyone, welcome to Into the Stars. In this video, we're going to talk about aperture, which is the most important part of a telescope. We're also going to talk about the two different types of telescopes, refractors and reflectors. When you think of the word telescope, you probably think of this image here. The stereotypical long barrel and the eyepiece at the back. This is a refractor telescope. It's a refractor telescope because it refracts light. And it does that by using lenses. There's a lens at the front of the telescope called the objective lens. And it bends the light all the way down the barrel where it hits a little mirror and it bounces through the eyepiece. This is an image of a reflector telescope, and it uses mirrors instead of lenses to bend the light so you can see. You know it's a reflector telescope because one of the typical characteristics is that the eyepiece, the piece that you look in through, is usually mounted on the side of the telescope. The most important part of a telescope is the aperture. The aperture is the size of the opening of the telescope in the front. When you look in the mirror with the lights on, and then turn off the lights while you're looking in the mirror, you'll notice something happens to the black spot on your eye. That's known as the pupil. When you turn off the light, you'll notice the pupil gets bigger. That's because it's trying to allow more light in so you can see fainter objects. That's exactly what the aperture does of a telescope. The bigger the aperture, the more light that can get in. One thing people always ask is, how far can I see with this telescope? And that's not really the best question to ask. The question you should be asking is, how faint of an object can I see? And if you think about it, the bigger the aperture, the more light can get in, just like the human eye, which means you'll be able to see very faint objects. So you might wonder, well, how big of an aperture do I need? And that's a tough question to answer. It all depends on where you are. If you're in a city and you look up in the night sky, you're not going to be able to see that many stars because of all the light pollution. If you can make your pupil much bigger, then you'll be able to see more stars. Same thing with a telescope. If you had a very large diameter telescope, you'd be able to see more stars. However, if you live in the middle of nowhere where there is no light pollution, you don't need that big of a diameter telescope in order to be able to see all the stars. So it really depends on where you are. Because a reflector telescopes use mirrors, it can be cheaper to build a reflector telescope with a very large aperture. A very large aperture means you'll be able to see really faint objects. So for $200, you'll be able to get a refractor and a reflector, however, the reflector will probably be much bigger and a bigger aperture, meaning it is a better telescope. So another way to say it, with a reflector, you're getting more bang for your buck. Reflector telescopes typically aren't built very small because they can be built bigger for a very cheap price. All right, so that's the most important part, aperture. The bigger the diameter of the telescope, the fainter the objects you're going to be able to see. In our next video, we're going to talk about the focal length, the length of the telescope, and why that's important for astronomy.